Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Brave Kids Art Club. My name is Brad and I hope you're having a wonderful week so far. Hopefully today you are excited to draw. Are you excited to draw? Awesome, okay good, because so I'm excited to draw and we have a really fun one today. Today we're gonna be drawing something that's delicious and it's my most favorite dessert. Today we're drawing ice cream. And my favorite way to eat ice cream is in a cone. So we're gonna do a cone with a scoop of ice cream or two or three or however many scoops you wanna put in there. So be thinking of what your favorite ice cream flavor is and let's make sure we have all the tools ready to get started. All right, make sure you have a nice clean sheet of paper out. You're gonna need a pencil for our sketching. And when we do our pencil sketching, we're gonna go over that with a dark marker or a pen for our outline. Uh, and then we're gonna erase that sketch underneath with some type of eraser. So have an eraser handy. And at the very end, this is important, we're gonna do some coloring. And uh, since it's an ice cream cone, I think we can have a little bit of fun with the colors. But all right, let's go ahead and start with our sketch. Maybe we'll start with the cone. What do you say? Let's start with the cone. It depends on how tall you wanna make your ice cream cone, so it depends on how many scoops you want but I'm gonna start pretty low so I can fit my ice cream. And I'm gonna put a little dot at the bottom, in the middle, and then I'm gonna make myself a triangle. Just an upside down triangle, like this. I'm gonna do another one like this. There we are. A little line going that way. So make our triangle, and you know what? You don't really have to finish the triangle. We don't have to finish it off. If you want to, sure. <laughs> there you go. But now we need to add the scoops of ice cream on the top. So my trick for drawing scoops of ice cream are just drawing circles first and then we'll do some erasing. So let's start with drawing our circles and don't worry about it being overlapping anything right now. And they don't have to be perfect circles because your ice cream isn't a perfect circle. <laughs> so we have one scoop and I'm gonna do another scoop right on top of this one. And then I'm gonna draw another scoop and I'm gonna have an overlap on here, okay? So just have it overlap roughly the same size, like that. There we go. See, it's not perfect and that's okay. There's a bunch of lines. And I think I wanna have a little cherry on top of mine. So we'll add a little, one last little circle on the very tippity top. <laughs> and maybe there's room for three scoops if you wanted to just take off this cherry and add a third scoop because you can't really decide on which one's your favorite flavor which is my problem, because I love ice cream so much. <laughs> so the next thing is maybe we'll just add like a little, let's add a little stem there on our cherry. There we go. But now that we have these circles on here, it doesn't still really look like ice cream. When they scoop it out, it kind of smushes the edges here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna erase pretty much the middle of this. We don't need this little middle part, or this part right here, or this part. <laughs> Just erase all of the middle. That makes sense? We really don't need the middle, but we have a good guide now, huh? There we go. How's yours looking? Okay, now this is where we're gonna add just a bunch of little circles, really faint though. Don't draw them too hard, because we're gonna do some erasing. But we're gonna kinda go do a little circle right here, maybe a little circle right here so we know where the edges are. Same thing over here, because it's gonna overlap on our cone a little bit. There we go. Just on those little points where they meet. Now, this is the trick. Now you just draw waves, just like you would if you're drawing water waves. Draw big waves like this. And again, they don't have to be perfect, but you want them to kind of meet up with this one. And then we'll go like that. Okay, let's do it again. We go up, we do a wave, do a wave. Did you know why they invented cones? They actually invented them at a fair. One of the vendors at a fair was like, I, I wanna sell my ice cream, but it's hard for people to carry around the fair and enjoy the fair. So he made cones so that they could put the ice cream in it and walk around. That's pretty cool, huh? It's a smart, that's a smart uh, ice cream salesman. <laughs> Got ice cream and and they're really yummy. I don't really like waffle cones. They smell so good when you walk into the ice cream shop and smell waffle cones. Those are my favorite. Okay, so we did some work here. Now we need to go and start erasing some things again. Let's erase these circles right here so it looks just like that. And this side too. And this one. You seeing what we're doing here? 
Oh, there we go. So now it looks like they're just squished right on top of each other and on this cone. And maybe you want to draw a different type of cone. There's lots of different shapes of ice cream cones, so you can change that shape if you want. I just wanted to go with a, a plain triangle one because that's kind of my, those are my favorites anyways. Alrighty, and then let's erase this last little bit right up here too. And on our cherry, our cherry we can change and make it look more like a cherry by just having it kind of like, almost like a heart. Like this. You can keep most of it round, but then it has these two little, little or it has that one little divot, so it has two little bumps there to make it look kind of like a heart. And then you can have the thing coming out of it. There we are. I'm liking that. Okay, this is looking pretty good now. Looks like an actual ice cream cone, which is what we're going for. So now what other details are we missing? That's right, we're missing the lines on our waffle cone. So let's just follow the same line, the same angle that we're doing here on the outside of the cone. We'll do it on the inside to make it look like a waffle. Have all these little grids in there. Like that, 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 that. I love cones, but they are kind of messy. And so let's make our ice cream cone a little messy because what happens right after you walk outside? It starts dripping. You have to be licking all around it because you're worried it's all going to drip on your hand. So let's make a few drips on our ice cream. I think that would make this more interesting and realistic, to be honest. Let's take one of these waves and erase them. Just pick one of the waves, any wave you want. There we go. How about that one right there? And then we're going to do the opposite of going out. We're going to go in first, like this, like that. Go in, curve in, curve in. And then we're going to kind of round it off like a little drop. Oh, that looks pretty good, huh? It's dripping. So let's add a couple more drips. So pick a couple more spaces that you want it to drip. Maybe I want this one to drip right here. And I want this one to drip right here. And all we have to do is go like that. And we'll try to connect it to that one. There we go. We'll do the same thing over here. But just maybe a little shorter one so it's different. It's called variation. You want things to look a little different. You want them all to look exactly the same. Then it, it looks kind of weird when they're all exactly the same. Because life isn't perfect. And when we're drawing things, if you draw them perfect, you can but it looks a little less realistic when they're perfect. There we go. We got a few drips in there. Maybe you want a little puddle on the side. Ooh, whoops here. Yeah, let's do a little puddle on the side. <laughs> Where it's been dripping. Maybe this one's been dripping too. You can add one last one right here. Is that one right here? Whoop. This is a really drippy ice cream. And I'm gonna draw a little drop right here. <laughs> oh, that looks cool. Okay, I'm gonna look here to it. I just I'll, I'll keep drawing drips if I if I don't stop. So we got a little puddle right there. Almost looks like a little paint palette. All right, so the fun part now is we get to pick the flavors. By the way, do you know what the most popular flavor is in the world? Vanilla. I thought it was something more exciting. No, it's vanilla. <laughs> it's the most popular flavor. But I'm not gonna draw vanilla because I don't want to draw white or just yellow. So I'm gonna draw. I want to. I want to have some more colors in mind. So I think I'm gonna do one of my favorite ice cream flavors on the top, which is mint chocolate chip. So I'm gonna draw some little chocolate chip chunks up here, little squares all over to represent my little chocolate chips. Mmm. By far my favorite flavor. Okay, so we'll do that. Now this one I'm gonna do down here isn't necessarily my most favorite flavor, but uh, it has some really cool colors and so I think it'd be a lot of fun. But it is my daughter's favorite, so there is that. <laughs> I'm gonna draw some sprinkles on here. And maybe it's like a birthday cake ice cream. Do you guys like birthday cake ice cream? For me, it's a little sweet. It's a lot like the Superman ice cream. It's a little sweet for me. <laughs> which is kind of funny to say because they're all pretty sweet and sugary, which is why they're so tasty. But the colors are really cool on here. We're gonna do some pinks, maybe some blues and yellows. So I'm just gonna draw these little, little tiny sprinkles everywhere. So what flavor did you guys decide on? What's your favorite flavors? 
I'm really curious. But maybe you can just show me your drawings and I can see what flavors you like, or I can guess by looking at your drawings what flavor you guys like. So make sure you just send in your artwork. I love seeing what you guys make. And at the end on Fridays, at the end of all my Friday shows, I like to show off a lot of your work too. So there's a good chance that your work will be in there and I'll show it off to everyone else so they can see how amazing you are. So all you have to do is go onto Instagram and have your parents upload a picture of your work and just tag us at Brave Kids Art Club. All right, well, I think I got everything on here. I think we're, we're finished with our drawing, so now we can go over it and just outline it all and make it look a whole lot nicer because it looks a little bit messy right now. All right, so I'm gonna start with my toppings over here because if they overlap, I wanna make sure that these are drawn first so I don't draw over them the ice cream over top of them because this is on top of the ice cream. So I'll draw these little guys on here. Do you wanna hear some fun facts about ice cream? <laughs> I know you do, I knew it. <laughs> Well, the first ice cream cone, like we mentioned, that came out in 1904. 1904. And guess what astronauts' most favorite foods are? Or I guess you should say, not their most favorite foods, but they did a, they asked astronauts at NASA, and they said, well, what, are your, what are the foods you miss most? And they said three different things. One of them was ice cream. And there were two other foods that they said they missed really badly when they were in space. Can you guess which one those are? One other one is pizza, which we drew. Of course, pizza is amazing. And the other one, I believe was, what was it? Oh, soda or pop or whatever part of the country you're in. I, we call it soda or pop, but it was soda. They missed their soft drinks. All right, ooh, gotta get this little droop in there. Now, us Americans love our ice cream. We buy and consume or eat a ton of ice cream. But do you know who eats more ice cream per person than us here in the US? It's New Zealand. I didn't know that. They absolutely love ice cream. That's pretty cool. I thought we were number one there in eating the ice cream, but apparently we are not. Okay, so I got my sprinkles done. I'm gonna draw my little waffle cone. This part's the easy part, right? There we go. Get my lines in here. There was also a contest for who could have the tallest ice cream cone. And my assumption is that means you can have a ton of different scoops on top of there without them falling over. Do you want to know how tall they got their ice cream cone? 10 feet. That's huge. That is super tall. If you're in your house, that's probably higher than your ceiling, unless you have really tall ceilings. Our ceilings are nine foot <laughs> and it's taller than our ceiling. Imagine eating that ice cream cone and how fast it would melt. I think you'd have to have a lot of friends come over and help you out. You're gonna draw a little drop. And then the last thing is my little puddle right here. Oh no, it's not the last thing. I'm missing it right there at the top. Our cherry on top. How fitting it is that we did that last. I'm gonna draw a little line right there. Maybe a little another one right there and then draw a little circle at the end for the end of the stem. Well, awesome. This is turning out great and I'm really, really excited to color this one in. This one's gonna be fun. We'll have some bright, bold colors, but I need to erase all of my pencil sketch underneath here. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna start uh, coloring and let you catch up and do your thing and uh, we'll meet up right afterwards. finished. Look at that delicious ice cream cone. Now I want to go out and get ice cream. That's really what I want to do right now. <laughs> well, hopefully yours turned out amazing and you had a really fun time. That's what's important. And also that you're proud of what you made. 
please be proud of what you made. It's yours. You're the only one that's made this. So that also means we need to sign our name on it so we can own our work. Whoops, just dropped my pen. I'm gonna go ahead and sign my name right down here. Or put my initials. And our ice cream cone is finished. Oh, but I forgot to mention, I also did a little bit of shading on here so it looks like a little bit more 3D, but uh, it also just made it look a little bit more delicious. So <laughs> it worked out in the end. But thank you guys for showing up and watching this show today. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Uh, give this video a like if you enjoyed it today. And remember, before you go, be brave, be creative, but most importantly, be you. Alrighty, we'll see you guys next time.